Among the perils of World War II stood a gorgeous, mountainous, and neutral region known to be littered with thousands of secret bunkers. In total, there's an estimated 360,000 of them, by the way, in the European country of, you guessed it, Switzerland. Now, I guess you could say technically there's actually 360,000 and one because we just learned that Apple has a Zurich secret of their own. I'm Nate, bringing you news and commentary on all things Apple tech. It really helps me out if you like and subscribe to this channel. Well, in case you missed it, the Financial Times reported that Apple has been poaching Google AI specialists for six years now and moving some top researchers to an ultra secretive AI lab in Zurich, Switzerland. If, it's, if it sounds straight out of a movie, that's because I'm currently working on a screenplay for... No, I'm, I'm just, just kidding. This sounds wild, right? It literally sounds like it's out of a movie. I'm not making this up. Apple has what is effectively a shell company in Zurich that's surrounded businesses didn't even know it was Apple. Like all the businesses nearby had no idea. And some of the best AI research has apparently been coming from them which is really, really interesting in my opinion. Now, since John Gianandrea joined from Google in 2018, Apple, according to the Financial Times, has acquired some 36, 36 senior hires from Google AI staff. That's a massive amount of people. And to make things a little more interesting, part of the thinking behind this secret Zurich project came reportedly from the acquisition of two AI startups Face Shift, which was a VR startup, and f that's not real. That's not right. Fashwell, I gotta double check that one there. Uh, I'll come back to you on that one later in the video. I don't think that name is right. I think there's a typo on that. But uh, it was an image recognition startup as well. Wow, this is crazy, and I think I think I have a feeling about how I feel about this. I'd say it's good news for sure. I think this is great news. It shows ambition. It shows the ambition of a company that is not only expanding globally, but is thinking globally in terms of where they can put people who are lead researchers in the field of AI. Fascinating. Genius, by the way, also of acquisition from the company that ruled AI. I mean, Google with DeepMind really at the time really was ruling AI research and was at the forefront. And in some ways they still feel like they really are. And I get that, there's an argument there. Um, so for Google to, or for Apple to take 36 people from Google, AI staffers, solid people over the course of time, man, that says something about Google or about Apple's ambition. Mac Rumors covered the report and talked about what Apple has been doing with neural nets, for example, as well, uh, long before, during this project, long before LLMs were popularized in the mainstream, which I think is also interesting and definitely a perspective to show Apple's ambition. And then the article also talked about how Apple didn't want to release AI, even though they had made great strides early, early on. We're talking 2018, 2019. Not early in the AI race. All of you, I can feel you in the comments section. Don't hit enter. Uh, I mean early on in terms of our current era of AI, okay? Just keep that in respect, all right? I taught an AI class. I know the history. Uh, moving on, though, uh, it they, the reason that they were waiting to release the AI, I think, is really interesting, which was that they're, they wanted very clear control over generative responses, which makes sense. I love that. I do respect that about Apple. What could this lead to? That's what we need to get to next. What, what is this going to look like in the future? I got you covered here. Firstly, I think it's expect more from AI because Apple's clearly every, everything we, I learn about AI, like every time I learn something new about Apple AI, I'm impressed by what they're doing and what they have been doing in the background for a long time. Over the course of the last year, as new AI research just keeps getting leaked and then Apple starts open sourcing stuff, I mean, it's like, man, Apple's doing a lot of stuff around AI and they're not being so shy about it anymore. And it's cool to see this story and learn about what Apple's been doing in the AI, using AI and building an AI and researching an AI for so long. Now, of course, this shouldn't come as a massive surprise because as we've talked about on this channel before, People's definition of AI changes over time. And so 
there's a lot of AI already built in your phone, especially if you use accessibility features. So I want a disclaimer that, but the Financial Times report outlines private work that Apple has been doing long before it was cool. I love that. And I'm genuinely starting to believe that Apple will be a leader in the AI space someday, if they're not already secretly a leader in some way. And the better that the AI and veg innovation has become, the more likely we could get amazing on-device AI. So I'm really excited to hear that they're really pulling at every single string and strand they can to try and improve AI, even to the point where they have secret companies under a shell company's name in downtown Zurich, where other people are walking around and have no idea. That's Apple headquarters right there. That is cool stuff. Now, there are hardware challenges to on-device AI, for sure. And I don't think that that's probably where that's being solved but the software challenges could be solved in places like that. So I think it is pretty interesting and kind of cool to think about this movie-like experience and atmosphere that is uh, being portrayed in these articles. So kudos to the Financial Times, 9to5Mac and Mac Rumors for kind of covering this story and getting that news out there because I'm absolutely loving it. Uh, let's see here. Part of the research going on in Switzerland also, by the way, when we're thinking about the future, uh, has to do with vision tech. So could some sweet AI wearables come out of this play? Possibly. I think that's also, uh, crazy. And honestly, the possibilities are endless, but what does it actually mean for you? What does it actually look like? That's the question we need to end on here. We already know that Apple AI inventions, innovations are going into effect and they're coming to us very, very soon. For example, Iris, big need of an upgrade to Iris and we expect it to be happening at WWDC this June. We're gonna learn a lot more about that. So I'm excited about that. Spotlight search, summarization, better understanding of queries, more complicated queries. Spotlight Search is supposed to be getting an upgrade as well. Thank you, AI, for supporting that. Shortcuts, this could be absolutely massive. A Apple Shortcuts, for those who don't know, Apple's way of saying hack your phone, right? But within the realms of what we're comfortable with, right? So you can take actions and functions and essentially program without having any coding experience your phone to have workflows to do things quickly and efficiently, which is really cool. Um, so big fan of that. And I can just only imagine what AI uh, hacks are going to be in hack. I use hack lightly here. Uh, what kind of AI integrations are going to be there with the shortcuts app. Uh, Apple Music, you're going to get some smart playlists, messages, you're going to get summarizations, AI responses, uh, like finish finish my response kind of stuff, AI response suggestions, right? Um, health app, keynote, numbers, pages, so much more. So there's a ton of stuff that we are already expecting in the AI department coming from Apple. So there's so much to be looking forward to. And by the way, before I get to the crazy community poll of the day, I do want to just quick plug make sure you're subscribed to this channel because we're going to be covering everything for the new event, the May event coming out next week, as well as um, for the June 10th WWDC keynote presentation. You're not going to want to miss it. And I'll make sure that you don't miss anything if you're subscribed to my channel. Crazy community poll. I had to ask you if you had to guess Apple AI in iOS 18 will be a quarter of you said monumental almost half of you said big, 20% of you said significant, but not enough. And 12% of you said, it's just going to be baby steps. And I want to firstly start with those of you who said baby steps, no hate coming your way because there are times with Apple that they take very incremental steps when people are expecting them to take massive leaps. So you are not crazy for thinking that this is possibly how things are going to go. It's not how I think it's going to go, but I would understand why you might feel that way. Um, and then now let's talk about the monumental big, because basically 69% of you said that you feel like iOS 18 AI is going to be at least big, right? Which is a big percentage of you. That's almost 
I mean, it's almost 70, 70%, right? That's over two thirds. That's a lot of people. So I'm stoked to see that out of a hundred votes, you guys are feeling pretty strongly on the positive end about AI coming to iOS 18. I'm with you. I am with you. And I do think it will be enough. And I do think it will be really exciting. So make sure that you uh, are, don't miss any of, of the fun as we get close to WWDC because we'll be talking a lot about it. In the comments section, just want to highlight a comment here. Firstly, it will be absolutely incredible at the bottom. I see what you did there with Joswiak. I... Um, I, I commented, I, you might've missed it. I, I, I called you Jaws just to kind of, you know, yeah, I see what you did there anyway. Uh, and then you were really, really kind to, to make sure I knew it wasn't your own idea. So, you know, respect for that one. Uh, plagiarism's horrible. All right, if Apple are moving at their intended pace rather than rushing under pressure from investors, then it should be big, but also foundational. Establishing a paradigm and platform for AI that is less about impressive gimmickry and more about actual functionality that can be built for years to come. Love that comment, Buster Darcy. Man, you should comment more because that's the kind of positive energy and vibe that I am totally thriving off of right now. I'm feeling you on that one. And I, uh, it helps that I do agree. Whoops, a daisy. I do agree with you. All right, make sure you're subscribed. I think I've said that about a thousand times. I can't wait to talk about WWDC as we know more. And I will make sure you don't miss anything. As always, until next time, think different, stay crazy.